Hey everyone, welcome to my new series on a stat component. Now, this stat component is gonna be like a typical RPG stat system. So something where you'll see like strength, agility, intelligence, and then with that, uh, you'll gain levels. Upon getting levels, you'll gain stats. Uh, we'll also aim to add the features of where you click a button, then you'll also gain those stats. So like, let's say you gained a level, you'll be able to distribute, let's say like three different stats points to your current existing stats and then we'll continuously evolve what the system can do as well as what it, um, the ui functionality will have as well so this series is going to be a multi multi-part series where we'll continuously evolve it as we go now i didn't flesh out this series at all so my goal for this series is to build it um right when I'm starting, um, sorry, terrible phrasing, but I think you may get what I mean. Anyways, um, and then as we go through the different episodes, we will continuously add more things to it. We may go back, edit it, make changes accordingly, and then uh, continuously just make it better. Um, I want you, you and everyone else to kind of be involved in that process from start to end, and then eventually we'll get to a stat system that maybe everybody could use, tweak, enjoy, and yeah, um, that's my goal for the series, so let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to need to do is create our component. Now for creating a component, it's pretty easy. So what we want to do first is let's make a new folder, um, new folder at the top. Let's just call this stat system. This is just going to be the centralized folder that I'm going to use for everything. And then we're going to want to add a blueprint class. Let's go actor component. AC naming convention for actor component. And we'll name this just stat underscore system. All right. And then from here, we're going to want to create a variable, which is going to be a map. But actually, the next thing is, well, let's change this to anything. So you could do a string, but I'm actually going to do something else that I personally have been playing around with and kind of enjoy because it's honestly, it's just easy to see, especially for everybody who loves blueprints. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a enum. And for this enum, we're going to go into here, enum, enumeration, um, in case anybody wants to know the full name. Uh, but nonetheless, this will allow us to basically have different type of um, stats in a list. And then it's also easy to flip through. And then you can technically pull the name based upon um, a byte, so you can either use like get the stat on zero, which will be technically none, um, or you can get a drop down list of every stat that you have and then pull it accordingly. So I'll show you in a second, but there is my brief but not elaborate explanation. So stats, we're gonna keep this pretty simple in the beginning. So we're just gonna mess with health and XP, and then we're gonna go into damage, um, strength, agility, and intelligence at a later point. But right now, we just want to build the very basis of our system. So we're going to do max XP. Another thing you could do is you can technically separate the XP with the actual um, other stats. But nonetheless, um, let's go into here, max health, or er, sorry, XP. I didn't mean to, let me close that. Add another one, level. Let's just add a few in here. Max health, health. And I think I added one too many. Let's see, one, two, three, four. okay. So we should be good here and we'll close that out. And then what we can do is now we go back to our stack component and we're gonna look for enum stat. And we're gonna change this to a float. And then 
let's just add all of our variables here. This also allows you to set the default values of them as well. So we want to make sure that we set the defaults. Uh, level, max, health, and health. And the reason why I add none is because if you were to select here and then you try to do the next one, it actually won't let you go to the next one if the default value exists. So since none exists, we can't. So that's why none exists. Okay, so now what we're gonna want to do is Let's give us some default values. So max XP, we'll set the first one to 100, and I'll leave that as zero. First level, we'll also do 100 and just do 100. Setting health value isn't gonna really matter because upon starting the game, we wanna make sure health is always max health. We'll go into that later, but really just emphasizing that that value technically doesn't matter, but we want it to exist, okay. So now we're gonna create a series of functions. So these functions are gonna to be to add, subtract, and set our stat values. And then we also want the ability to check the stat value. So if we were to add this, we're gonna call this stat check. And this is just gonna find our stat variable. So we get this here. We'll find, we're gonna plug this in here add a return and just plug these in here. So we got the value and then the return value. I mean, technically you could say like stat value, um, kind of leave it as default, but you can rename them as accordingly. We'll go with select stat and then click this drop down menu here and uncheck the pass by reference. And the reason for that is because if we go into the event graph over here, grab stat check, pull it in. Now we have a drop down menu to select the stat. And the thing is, if we did a string, you'd have to either pass in a string or type in the string. And I wasn't really a fan of that. So I just created this as a drop down because honestly, it's easier. And for everybody that loves blueprints, um, could save you some time, especially for beginners. Uh, of course, if you have your own system later on, tweak it, adjust accordingly. Things that I do isn't aren't necessarily going to be the best thing in the future, but nonetheless, we'll tweak on this. We'll aim to make it as best as we can. So that's stack check. And actually, we don't want this to have any execute nodes. So let's go into here and make it appear because we want to be able to pull this in whenever we want. So if we ever want to get the value of max XP, we'll be able to do that and pull that out. Super useful instead of having to do fine the whole time and then pull it out. Next, we're going to want to add stat value. And then from here, this is where we get a stat check. I'm going to pull that into there. Select stat, perfect. And then we're also going to want to grab stats here and add. Plug that in here. Um, let me move this over a little. Now, what we I want to do is get the select stat here, but I don't want to pull this in. So what I'm going to do is type it, select stat. And you can only do this for Excuse me. Uh, you can only do this for functions uh, and not um, on the event graph, which is why I really enjoy the function. All right. And then from here, after we add, we want to actually make sure that we can do a series of things later based upon the type of stat that we're adding. So what we would do is do a switch on enum stats we're gonna get this and plug it in and then from here we have all of these drop downs where we can do things and then what we'd want to do is return so i mean something you could do let's plug these in 
bowl like that, which is kind of gross. I'm just going to do this. Plug that. And it kind of keeps it over here. I'll show you in a second on why we want to do that is because we want to be able to do an output of a float and just call that value. Add suit, not add. I'm gonna check and we'll plug that in. Bam. Okay, perfect. So later on, when we want to switch things, we'll be able to pull off based upon, like, maybe we want to check what's the value of max health. Or, for example, if we're adding to health, we want to check to make sure we did not exceed our max health. And then um, we'd be able to then populate that new value. So this will come in handy with the UI as well as just a few other functions that we'll be creating here. So from here, we're going to now want a subtract. So I'm actually going to copy. We're going to call this subtract stat value paste. I'm going to do this. Select stat. Plug this into everything else. All right. Now, the last thing we need to do is actually do the math. So we've created the basis for everything. So let's move this over a little. For this, we're going to want to subtract. And then we're going to want to go over here and do an input subtracted value. Oh, did I drag it over here? Oop, my bad. Plug that into here. Subtract, oop, subtracted value. Awesome. And this will subtract um, the secondary value into our current stat. So we'll be able to subtract accordingly. And then we're going to want to do the same thing for the add stat value. Oh, actually, before I do that, we'll do this set stat value. Because actually, we'd be able to leave that as is. Go back to our add stat value. Move this over a little. Add. Plug that in. Add a new float, added, add value. Perfect. OK, so we're being able to add and subtract. I think I can actually move this kind of like that. It's a little better. Try to keep it at least neat as can be. Go over to set stat value. Um, boom, boom, boom. Let's delete that. Add a new input. Set value. And set value. Nice. So now we have three functions. We can add, subtract, and we can set the value. So we have the main functions that we want to add. Now on our event graph, we're going to want to do a few things. We want to make sure that we never fall below zero health. And we also want to make sure we never have our health exceed our max health. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create two custom events. We're going to call this check min health, min for minimum. And then we'll do another one as check max health. We're going to grab our stack check. 
from here, we want to make sure that our oop, current health is less or equal to zero. If it hits less or equal, we want to make sure that our health value gets set back to zero. We never want somebody's health bar to say negative 2000 or whatever it may be. So we'll want to um, set stat value to zero. And you can leave it like that. And then from here, we also want to do, let's copy this, control D. And then from here, this is going to check if our health is greater or equal to our max health. So control D again, I'm gonna grab this max health, plug that in and plug that in. From here, we'll do, we wanna set our health to our max health. So actually we could do this like that. Plugging that in. You technically could do this again and plug that in, but honestly, if you have it right there and straight line, not a problem. All right, so let's see. Okay. And then now we need to work on our XP. So our XP is gonna be somewhat similar. Let me actually make a comment on this. We wanna check if player health reaches the minimum or maximum amount. All right. New custom event. Oop. Check max XP. All right. And from here, we want to be able to check if our current XP reaches the max XP. Oh, let me zoom in a little here. We're going to grab our stat checks. Going to get two of them. One is going to be XP, and one of them is going to be max XP. And then we want to check if this is greater or equal to here. We'll branch off. And then from here, what we want to do is that if XP actually exceeds the max XP, we want to get the remainder of XP and hold on to it. So let's say max XP is 100, and let's say we now have 150 XP. We want to gain a level, and then now we want our XP bar to say we have 50 because that's what's remaining and then we'll take that 50 to use for the next level. Or let's also say maybe we gained 600 XP and we'll gain two levels. We wanna be able to gain both those levels as well. Instead of we gain one level and now we have a, a remainder of 500, but we're not gaining a level. And it just sits there and the XP bar will say 500 out of 150, which would be weird. So we wanna get the remainder. So what we'll do is we're going to subtract the stat value. I'm gonna grab, what is this, XP? Yeah, grabbing XP, is that what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna grab XP and we're gonna subtract, oh, I guess I could just plug that in like that. Um, cool. And then what we also wanna do is increase our level and yeah, let's add this to our current level. We'll just add one. Did we set a default value? Okay, we did, we did. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right. Cool, so yeah, let's see. Let, let's see if everything works. So let me comment, check if player, Reaches max level for 
your max XP for gaining a level. And then we'll check here. So what I'm gonna do is now go to our character, third person. I'm gonna add a component, the AC stat system. We should have our default values here. Okay. And then I wanna do where, let me zoom in, Q key. When I press Q, I wanna be able to gain XP. I wanna see if our XP system is working. So let's add stat value and let's just gain 50 of XP. Okay. And we'll print And we'll do this twice. I'll show you in a second. So what I want to do is current XP space. Plugging that in. And I'm also going to check stat and level level space plug that in okay so let's hit play q we got 50 100 all right so we'll notice i'm gaining xp not getting a level let's see what happens so for here, we have our current XP, which is oh, greater or equal to max XP. Max XP, which is 100. And then we are subtracting max XP to current XP. And then we are adding one to level. So let's add a branch. Oh, okay. So, jokes on me. We actually forgot <laughs> important level. We're or important part. We're not calling these functions. So let's go back into our add stat value. And this is where this comes in handy. So now I'm going to pull in check for max health, check for max XP. Actually, let's flip these. Uh, let's do this. Trying to see how to organize it. Let's now pull in. Let's max health goes into health. Max XP goes into XP. Okay. And then we want to go into subtract stat value and do the same thing for our minimum health. Grab minimum health. We're going to plug this into health. Plug that into there. Okay. Let's try this now. So clicking Q says current XP is still zero, but now I'm going to. That's interesting. So we're adding our stat correctly. But we're not returning it. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. And this is why I always pay attention. Cool. So we're getting our levels, but we'll also notice it's always 100. So this is actually where our data table is going to come in handy because what we're going to do is create a data table so that when we increase our level, our max XP is going to increase. So next, we wanna go back into our stat system. We're going to create a few things here. So we're going to create two structures. 
So we're going to create a basically like um, a stat default, which is going to include the stats. Actually, maybe maybe just one. We could do. We could do a single structure. Call this F stats. I don't, I don't know, call that list. And then we could do. What are the stats we currently are using? Go back in here. We have max health, XP, level, max health. Okay, so in the stat, we, we don't have to put every stat we want. We could do just max health, add another one, and we can do max XP. So we only want to add the things that we want to scale. So later on, it will be like a agility, intelligence, um, strength, and any other type of stat you want. Right now, we're just doing two basic stuff, and then we'll be able to add on to it. So we're going to leave that struct, which two, that should be good for now. And now we want to make a data table. So let's just type in data under data table. We want to look for that new struct that we made, stats list. We'll call this DT for data table and level stats. We'll open this up. Let's increase this over. And then actually with data tables, if you control D, you'll notice how we got that underscore zero. So that will actually help us with our naming. What we'll do is row one will be called level underscore one. So level one is row one. It'll be very easy for us to keep track. And then let's set some default values right now. So for max health, let's increase it by 50. And max XP, let's do, let's just also do 50. We'll, we'll keep it simple right now. And let's give us 10 levels. So by doing control D, we have row 10, level 10. And then from here, what we can do is that, let's say max XP increases by 50, and then on level four, we can say it increases by uh, 75. Oop. And health will increase by 100. And then we can do the same thing for three levels. And then next level, we'll do 150 and do 125. 150, 125. And then last one, we'll just do, let's say 200 and 150. So you'd be able to adjust the stats that you'll gain per level. Now, the only thing is if you have different type of characters, you want them to have different type of stat gains, you may want to separate the XP with the remaining stats, unless you want to give everybody like, let's say, three ability points, then you could go that route instead of gaining natural stats or if you want to keep it balanced. Uh, but that's one thing to note that we may want to address at a later time. But with this, we now have our max XP and health increasing upon a level. So what we also want to do is, let's close out this character. We're gonna worry about XP right now because we want that to work fully. We now need to get our data table to work with our, uh, our level system. So we're gonna want to zoom back in. Let's get data table row. And here's kind of the annoying part is because we're using enums. Let's get our stat check. We want to get our current level, but we're going to need to turn our level into something that's readable into the row name. Cause you see it's level underscore one. We need this level to go into there. Also ours is a float and that one is not a float. So we need to convert this into an integer. Uh, let's move this over. 
And then we're also going to need to convert this. Can you append? No. Convert. Is there, can I do append? And then can I plug that in? Nice, okay. String, can you type string? Oh, you could type string. Okay, so I was just typing the wrong thing. Um, but yeah, this is why it goes well to search. And then we want to level and then underscore. And then I'm gonna get the stat value as an integer and then that's going to plug in whatever current level I am. So um, just make sure that whatever name that you're going to plug into here matches accordingly to the row, otherwise it's just not going to work. And then that also converts the string into a name. And then from here, we're going to now want to adjust our stat values based upon gaining a level. So we'll want to do break F stats. We have our two values. We'll do add stat value. We'll do max health. Plug that in. And then we'll also do, what's our, Data table. Okay, we're adding. Um, okay, cool. So we'll do the same thing. The other thing you could do is you could actually just instead of doing adding, you could do like um, level one is 100, and then this could be 150. And then you could do set stat value instead of just adding, so you can control the value max XB. And actually, I think I like that a bit more. I feel like I'll have a bit more control over it on what, how much XP they'll need to gain a level. So let's adjust these a little bit. And we'll just do 150. Um, what is this, 200? And then we gain it by 75. We'll do 275. Oh, no, I messed up because now I have to do math in front of everybody. Um, what is this, 350? Four, four, two, five. Oh man. If any of this math is wrong, I'm sorry. I'm trying to seven, seven, five. What's that? 900. I hope that's right. But nonetheless, um, just make sure you do your math. Correct. Uh, okay, cool, cool. So with that, we have set stat value. And then, oh, okay, so another thing is that we want to run this again. So check max XP. And the reason we want to run it a second time is because of that scenario, if we gain too much XP, that we gain two levels, we want to make sure that after we gain one level, it runs it through again to make sure our current XP does not exceed max XP. And it will gain you as many levels as needed. So let's check to see if that's working. Let's go into here. We press Q. Okay, so we're level one with 50 XP. Now we're level two. And three. And four. Nice. And then just like that, we're gaining levels. As I keep pressing Q, I can go all the way up to 10. And then we'll also notice you can go to 11. So one last thing is we need to make sure that our level does not cap. So the next thing you could do is if you wanted to add a max level, you would be able to go into um, adding another enum, such as max level. However, for me, I think I'm going to leave that off right now because I want to leave enough room to continuously add more levels. So we'll go ahead and leave that as is because what we could do later on is that let's say 
you hit level 100, and then every level after 100 is the same amount of XP, but you can still gain stats, you can do, still do stuff, and we can keep it neutral as of there, so that they're continuously growing. It does depend based upon what type of system you want. For me, I'm going to leave that as is. We may address that in the future, but nonetheless, that should give us a nice stat component to start off, and then in the future, we'll be able to adjust this accordingly. We'll start adding in way more stats, and we'll also include a UI to work with. So yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, or series, or whatever you want to call this YouTube video, um, feel free to like, subscribe, um, leave feedback. I really do appreciate the feedback everybody gives so that I can improve my videos, um, as well as improving my blueprints. If you guys enjoyed this type of system, if you find any flaws that you may have seen, please leave it. But nonetheless, like, subscribe, join the Discord, all the other self-promo stuff. All right. Thanks for watching.